All right, folks, welcome to Demon Souls with a special guest. My name's Lethal, a.k.a. Lethal Feline, or the Death Cat on YouTube. Indeed. And I'll be riding shotgun with Zephy here today, and every other day we do this, is that, <laughs> for that matter. So, we're going to get started, we're going to get our character created. We're going to name it after our special guest here. And of course, I am incredibly flattered for this opportunity. So I can be killed mercilessly by demons or anything else that gets in our way. <laughs> Soldier, we're going to start off as a knight. They have nice stats, nice armor, which is that fluted armor. They start with two weapons, a longsword and a uh, mailbreaker, as well as a shield that blocks 100% damage. It's fantastic. Indeed. So you can get a lot of depth in the uh, character creation, but we're not going to do too much. Give him a ponytail, make him look like a samurai, kind of. A samurai knight. <laughs> Worse for me. Get back. Okay, we're just going to get into it. Alright folks, get ready to sit back, relax, we're going to shut up, and you're going to watch the uh, beginning movie intro. As soon as it loads. There Indeed. we go. King Aland the Twelfth, by channeling the power of souls, brought unprecedented prosperity to his northern kingdom of Boletaria. That is, until the colorless deep fog swept across the land. Boletaria was cut off from the outside world, and those who dared penetrate the deep fog never returned. But Valarfax of the royal twin fangs broke free from the fog and told the world of Boletaria's plight. That the old king Alant had aroused the old one, the great beast below the nexus from its eternal slumber and that a colorless fog had swept in, unleashing terrible demons. The demons hunt down men and claim their souls. Those who lose their souls also lose their minds. The mad attack the sane, and chaos reigns. Valarfax spoke of the enticing power of the demon souls. Each time a demon claims a human soul, the demon's own soul is invigorated by the life force. And the power of a mature demon's soul is beyond human imagination. The legend spread quickly. Mighty warriors were drawn to the accursed land. But none have returned. Bjor of the Twin Fangs. Yurt the Silent Chief. Sage Urbane. Skurver the Wanderer. The Sixth Saint Astraea and her knight Garo Vinland. And Sage Frake the Visionary. The colorless deep fog slowly creeps beyond Boletaria's borders. Humankind faces a slow and steady extinction. The deep fog will eventually swallow all lands near and far. But Boletaria has one final hope. A lone warrior who has braved the baneful fog. Has the land found its savior? Or have the demons found a new slave? So that's us, folks, that lone warrior. Hopefully the demon does make us a slave. <laughs> I don't want to be a goddamn slave. Mm, and it is named after you. Yep. Now all these people you see on these loading screens are real people, folks. We'll meet them eventually. And or kill them. Yep. They, they may be nice. We'll see. It depends on them. Brave soul who fears not death. I shall guide you. Into the light. Yeah, I've just been walking around in limbo. It's time so to get down to business. The old one back to slumber. Well, I've got nothing better to do. Let's go. Oh, it's not going to let us skip it. Our initial plan was to skip it, 
But we're just gonna run through it as fast as we can. Ignore most of the enemies. Don't forget to take off your armor. That's true. One thing we have to worry about, the same thing in Dark Souls, is we will not be able to roll if we're wearing too much shit. Now, yeah. one thing that is different from Dark Souls is there's not item burden. You may remember that there was a bottomless box in Dark Souls that Zeffy picked up at the very beginning, didn't use it even fucking once. And I gave him plenty of shit for it, of course. And this one, we don't have that luxury. We will have to use our uh, version of the bombless box. There's also quite a few differences with this game. Like, there's no kick, and then there's uh, world tendencies, which we'll get into in a little bit. In the Nexus, instead of uh, interconnected world, you have a world with levels, pretty much. Yep. We have a hub world in this game compared to the other one. So you don't have to kill anything in this uh, tutorial. You could get a meager amount of souls. I think it was 190 last time we checked. This yeah, it doesn't is give you very many. This is like our third take of this. The first one had bad audio levels, and the second one we eh, didn't feel quite right. So this time we're going to have our third take, and it's going to be even better. So we're going to try to make it to the boss right away. Again, you don't need to kill any of these guys. They will probably follow me. Uh, until we get to the fog door, probably. Yeah. That's a fun one. We'll fight more of those guys in the future. Indeed. <laughs> They're not a big problem, though. There's a variation of those guys that is sort of a problem, and we'll get to him as well. <laughs> we actually had a lot of fun kicking his ass in the first take. Most of the time off a of camera, though, because we were grinding up souls. Indeed. And then we decided that we didn't want to do that. Well, that was the bad audio ones, right? Yeah. Bad audio ones. We tried it, and uh, it was echoey as hell. It was up on YouTube for maybe about 10 minutes. Yeah, maybe. But it just was terrible. This one should sound a bit better, folks. So I'll kill all these guys just to uh, get them out of the way. Grab some grasses while I'm running through here. You can see two of them only gave me 22 souls. Yeah, these guys, they're all wimps. This is where you're supposed to learn how to play the game, or at least the fundamentals, Indeed. I suppose. The parrying, blocking, the whatnots. But here, we actually get to something interesting. See those eyes beneath the uh, fog there, folks? Well, there it is. They're going to kill me one go right away. Yeah, you're going to kill them this time. Third time's the charm, right? Here we go. It is possible to kill the sucker. Indeed. Pretty difficult. What possible? Uh-oh. Oh. oh, you actually survived. Fantastic. <laughs> that's gonna... Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I got it. Need me in the face. I think that's about for par, actually. <laughs> Usually I'm <laughs> uh, six of the way down. Yeah. Well, uh, we'll get a chance to get a revenge later. Yeah, I think in 4-1, right? Indeed. He's just standing out in the open. He's not even a boss later in the game. Yeah, he's just, just a single enemy. <laughs> So that didn't take too long, a couple of minutes to get through there? Not yep. bad. Yeah, actually that guy forms a shortcut, because after you kill him you can actually move quickly, <laughs> which is the retarded part. Now we gotta wait for it to load. Oops. Accidentally skipped it. Ah, uh, not a big deal. I guess. Talk to this guy. Well, he kind of tells us what to do. Fisher too, did you? you came for demon souls? Or to save this land and be remembered as a hero? <laughs> Hunting for demons? Try one of the art stones. Now go. That is why you came, is it not? To this accursed volatile So we're gonna get right into it. Nothing much too much to do here. So for that little part that uh Zephy accidentally skipped. Essentially, this chick with wax over her eyes, right there. So the what? She has invited us into the Nexus to help put the old one back to slumber. So we're gonna try to do that. We got nothing better to do. We, you know, we're dead. So we figure we'll be a good Samaritan and save the world. I'll find a little kid later that'll uh, give us a little bit more information. But that's after we defeat the first boss. Indeed. Which we'll try to do in this episode. Hopefully, we can get pretty there pretty quick. No lollygagging about. If you turn around first thing, there is uh, grass over here? That's something. What was it? That's some lightman grass. Uh, how the grasses work, folks, is there's... Uh, well, there's actually five, I think. There's crescent moon grass, which does a quarter. Half moon grass that does a half. Late moon grass that does three quarters. And then full moon grass that does the whole life bar. And then there's also ones that heal status effects. 
Uh, we'll see those later. We'll be up to our uh, ears and grass pretty here. Pretty here. Pretty soon here. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Now, one big difference between this game and Dark Souls is World Tendency. World Tendency, there's essentially two ends of the spectrum. There's pure black and pure white. And hopefully Zephy doesn't die here while I'm explaining this. That was weird. Uh, but the closer it goes to black, the more difficult the enemies become, and the more souls they'll drop. Now, also at each end of the spectrum, both pure black and pure white, certain events will happen. Like, you'll see, you'll meet NPCs, essentially, is what really happens. Whenever it's pure black, you'll usually find them as black fans, and that's not good because they're usually oh, they're well, they're always hostile, and you have to put them down. When it's pure white, then they aren't hostile for the most part. Yeah, there's a few that are still hostile. They're just not black fans. Indeed. Oh, there you there. So as I understand it, this game came out on PSN not too long ago. Indeed. So. There's probably a, quite an influx of uh, new players. So they came on about a week ago, as I understand it. Yeah. Trying to go too fast, getting hit. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, does this guy know what to do after he's knocked off the platform? Apparently this time he does. He has something on his body. Bolts. Or grass and ingress. That'll work. Already got up to 15. Considering how worthless the, <laughs> the crossbows are, I mean, grass is much more useful. Indeed. So we're gonna. There's enemies a lot of, around a lot of the corners. Just like in Dark Souls, they're sneaky little bastards. So you have to watch out for that or get stabbed in the back. Or ganged up on on both sides. Indeed. Neither of us really a good thing to get, have, get done to you. <laughs> <laughs> get have to you. Oh man, having a real shield. And that guy had something if you want to go back. Probably some more grass. Probably grass. Ooh, firebombs. Firebombs. We'll be holding on to those for the boss, folks. Indeed, they're quite useful against the boss. We'll probably pick up some other things that are good. He's vulnerable to fire, so any kind of fire-based things, magic, uh, firebombs, also another item that we'll probably get soon, I'll tell you about when we get it, is also useful. It makes your weapon fiery. See in here, some items. Items are pretty bright in this one. It's kind of hard to miss most of them. And they don't have any deceptive flowers in this one either. Ah, uh, flowers. So we just picked up a mail breaker. We actually have already had one of those since we started with it as a knight. Indeed, it's this little thing right here. Now, there's a big difference between weapons. Just like in Dark Souls, there's piercing, there's blunt weapons, and there's slashing weapons. Some enemies are vulnerable to some and others to others. So the uh, the mail breaker is going to be very useful to us in the second roll, actually, if I remember correctly. See, these guys have uh, fire on their daggers that makes them pretty formidable, and well, I just found. Well, thankfully not to your death. I did you get hit by that? <laughs> I did not. That's amazing. <laughs> remember, kids, rolling through fire makes it so it doesn't hurt. Indeed. Please try this at home, and don't tell your parents that I told you to do it. <laughs> So these guys are pretty dangerous, if you're not careful. Well, See, that was just like in another zip code, but somehow we hit him. Oh, and, Jesus! And that guy up top threw fireballs at me. So we're going to do some grass. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, now we're better. <laughs> Run through here, there's going to be a guy out here. Now, unlike Dark Souls, we're not limited on the amount of health items we can hold. So I'm just going to push him off. There we go. <laughs> See you later, asshole. <laughs> The enemies will only respawn when we come back in the world, so it's not a big deal. It's not like in Dark Souls Whoa, where you said killing? a. Uh, you just stand in there. Get down. <laughs> we're in uh, Dark Souls where they'd respawn whenever we went to bonfires. There's no bonfires in this game. Instead, we have those arch stones, which we actually came into the world at. So you see this guy up here. Sneaky little shit. We haven't seen this trick before. I'm not actually sure if it's strong enough to kill you, but it will do quite a bit of damage. Now we got a bastard sword, which is too heavy for us to use, and it's not extremely useful when you can, but we might be able to use it later. Oh, almost fell off. Okay, come on. Whoop, oh, swing and a miss. We're stabbing a miss. There we go. So I'm not going to worry about going that way just yet. There's nothing really over there. 
Just like in Dark Souls, there's a lot of shortcuts that can be open, and it's in your interest to do so, folks, unless you like walking a bunch. So that is the first thing we're going to do. Took care of him quite easily, you can see. They're just like the Blue Knights from the uh, tutorial level. Now these casks explode. This guy managed to get past that one. Let's see if this guy will play ball. There he goes. So you don't want to get too close to those. At this stage in the game, since we're at Half-Life, actually, we didn't even explain that. You'll notice that we don't have our full health bar, folks. I'll let Zephy explain why. Uh, when you're in soul form, you get only a Half-Life bar. Find a ring in a second that'll give us more. But it does punish you for being in soul form. But in soul form, we don't have to worry about being invaded. Although it also has the, uh... The unbenefit. <laughs> it has the <laughs> ill... The ill thing of not being able to summon friends like blue phantoms. I remember how helpful they were in Dark Souls. See, I got pretty damaged from one swing out there. What? Game. <laughs> Come on, game. This game's full of horseshit. It's not playing ball with me. You gonna swing at me? Just stab him. There you go. Right in the head. Oh, I didn't see what I got. It's probably just grass. We know how these guys roll. <laughs> Nothing but grass. We're swimming in grass already, folks. Not a really big issue. So if you're playing this game at home, you just got off a of PSN, don't be afraid to do grass. It's great. <laughs> grass is always good. So now so we, we got, got a clean ring. Yep. It's uh, going to give us 75% life when in soul form. So you can see our uh, bar went up a little bit. And that's useful for pretty much any time you're in soul form. Now we get some ragged armor, which we can't use because it's female-only armor. Some good Old Spice cologne, it looked like. Which is what I wear in real life, so I guess it's appropriate. <laughs> oh, what do you got? Grass? Grass. More grass. So we're going to run back up the stairs. That just takes us to the very beginning where the giant uh, gate was. I should explain what Old Spice does, too. It restores your magic points, which aren't exactly a commodity for us yet, since we know no magic or miracles. They use the same uh, the same bar. And we're not really a magic character. Being a knight and all, you know? We will be learning a miracle that's on our to-do list here. A very useful one that lets us teleport back to the Nexus without losing souls. Let's go see if we can get some uh, a ring spear over here. That would be amazing if it dropped. If it doesn't, that's cool too. <laughs> I mean, I'll be surprised if it does. Me too. Even if it does, we won't be able to use it, but we'll have it. We got nothing. Jack shit. That's a shame. That's okay. We'll grab some grass. Show you a strong enemy real quick. We're not going to fight him just yet. <laughs> You'll just get to see him. So he's a knight, but he's got a red eyes. You'll see him right there, folks. That is one scary motherfucker right there. If you're, you're not, not prepared. Nothing compared to what's behind the door, though. Oh, yeah, that thing? Uh, is it Old King Dorian? No, I think it is. I believe it is. Yeah, he will He will wreck her shit pretty damn quick. Yeah. <laughs> and he barely takes any damage. So we're going to get through here. I'm going to drop down real quick. Well, I don't, we don't really need the crossbow. But well, we're down here anyway. We'll get it anyways. <laughs> Crossbows, folks, are near useless, unfortunately. Uh, I'm drop down. There's going to be a guy over here. Uh, if you fire at us earlier, we'll kill him. But crossbows, folks, are pretty useless. You have to lock on before you can fire them. Unlike in real life, where you can manually aim them as easily as pulling a gun. Uh, in this level, our character, in game lethal, isn't that competent. <laughs> so, no aiming crossbows. It's a very strange mechanic. But of course you can aim a fucking real bow, so it doesn't make any goddamn sense. <laughs> it's right. one of the main... It's one of the uh, main complaints I have with the game, honestly. But enough of that, folks. We're going to meet our first NPC here. Indeed, you can just kind of jump down right here. And if you're feeling sassy, you can roll off the stairs like a badass. That's usually how I do it. What do we got there? Thieves ring. Thieves ring. We'll put that on. That makes this hard to detect by enemies, folks. Now this works on both uh, NPCs, enemies, and invaders. Hey, some of the guys getting down here. A sup well, now that you are here, pray thee, fend off these dreglings. Okay. So, so that guy right there is Ostrava. He's a good man. So unlike uh, Dark Souls, there's not really a falling attack. <laughs> well, you can land on their head and it kind of hurts them a little bit. 
gotta be careful. Oh here. boy. That we just don't run out of, uh. What is it? Stamina? Stamina. <laughs> We'll get blown up by a fucking barrel. <laughs> That's okay, we blocked it. <laughs> <laughs> Most of it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I'm like a, uh. Oh, buddy. I felt like a mother whose teen is learning to drive, folks, whenever Zephy's playing this fucking game. Especially when he's near a, the edge of a large cliff or something. I do tend to take, uh, more risks than, than necessary. Than necessary, indeed. <laughs> You're just gonna watch me? You don't even help? Hey, it looks like he was throwing firebombs at his friend. God dang it. You're not what? Oh, I just hit him. Sorry about that, Astra, but we didn't mean it this time. Soon enough. Well, no, we probably won't My thanks for your brave rescue. I am Ostrava of Boletaria. Don't mind me, I'm just using grass. Token of my gratitude. And he gets his telescope. Which, like in Dark Souls, just lets you see into the distance. So it's just gonna weigh us down, essentially. Yeah, pretty much. Now I must go. Yes, yes, good for you. So we could actually kill him right now if we pleased. Uh, what you get from him is you get a key, which will give you access to Old Duran. You'll remember the guy who's behind that red knight. Yeah, but he will just completely wreck us right now. Ooh, a scimitar, that's pretty cool. I don't remember that from our last playthrough. I believe we <laughs> was a little worse. Astrava, come on, pick up your slack, man. Jesus. <laughs> don't worry, I got him. Yeah, don't you finish that off. That's our kill now. <laughs> so we, get us. Grass. we get souls either way. It's just the point. The principle of the fucking thing, you know? It's ours. So we're gonna go come down get this. Well, maybe Ostrava will go kill that guy. Not very likely. Uh, who knows where he went. Yeah, we'll do it ourselves. It's just a little axe man. Whoops. Went too far. Little axe man who doesn't know how to use a shield. Shame for him. Is there anything behind us? Nope. I don't think so. So someone died right here. There are quite a few enemies over here. Oh goodness. I'm not sure how he hit me, but okay. Shoot some grass. Grass isn't a very rare commodity. Just do it like it's going out of style, folks. And poke. I love the longsword. It has a good slash and a good poke. So this is another one of those areas where you can drop down to kind of a... Uh... Oh yeah, if you want to get a drop on those guys. But we're not going to worry about them just now. We got bigger fish to fry. Because we're actually trying to make some progress, folks. We're trying to get to that boss before we end today's episode. Indeed. So we're pretty close now. Let's see, we're about 20 minutes into it. It might run a little long. You guys will watch. <laughs> we'll watch a little longer, won't you? Hopefully. I know you will. I know you will. <laughs> <laughs> Damn nice. That feels so good. So these guys are no problems. We're gonna go kill him. Or push him off at least. Go away. See you tomorrow. <laughs> And we actually killed them. Nice. Okay, let's see where we're at. Ah, oh, uh, yes. Right so, we'll just run through and. Hmm. Gotta watch out, they'll flip through and run you over if you're not careful enough. And we'll let the balls do our work, folks. The balls of doom and justice. We'll just pick up our. Uh, our victory. <laughs> victory <loot>. dress. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. And you got a pressed lotus, too. Indeed. Oh, there's a dragon over there. We'll see him in just a bit. We're not going to harass him, though. So you don't want to just run through here. There are two guys on our left. The spears. Man, I hate spears. They're, well, they're not impossible to parry. They're just very difficult to parry. And they're so damn quick like that. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, you stop that. Grass... There we go. <laughs> Backstab was a little a little choosy on that one. Yeah, it's a little hard to find the appropriate backstab spot sometimes. So I'm going to go show you. There's a bunch of items over here. We're, gonna We're not going to go get them yet. Just because the dragon will come down and roast us. Oh, he's already here. There. Yeah, so. 
That's a shame. See, see the other dragon just laying up there. There is a item really close to that red dragon. That is a very nice shield that we'll want to pick up as soon as possible. Although we won't be able to use it until we're a bit stronger. Let's see. Our world tendency looks pretty light. Yeah, it does. Maybe after this boss, we'll go into pure white. So, these first few enemies we can kill without a problem. But, you'll hear that flapping noise, folks. What the hell could it be? Is he up already? I heard something flapping. Yeah, me too. Yep, here it comes. Okay. Oh, run like a bitch! It's our dragon! Get down! You gotta get down the stairs, otherwise he will roast you. So it's just like that came. He's gonna have to come back again and try and roast us before we make the run for it. Not a big deal, though. It may be a little tricky to get him into this phase, folks, but once you've got him into it, it's not that bad. No, 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 no. just gotta run. Don't look back. Keep going. Oh, no. Well, that works. As you can see, the enemies blocked me in. Just run through. Okay. Now we're gonna do some grass. Oh. <laughs> if we don't get shot in the back. Oh. Well, that was throwing, folks. So we get. Just kinda. What kind of cool lever? That's some movie shit right there. Those two <laughs> arrows just going side by side. <laughs> so now we've opened the big gate, the big front gate. We'll get our first glimpse of what we'll be fighting. An, an amorphous blob that launches... Spears! <laughs> giant serrated spears. Looks like you just hacking over here. I was gonna say, you want to eat more grass? I suppose I could. There you go. Now I won't worry as much. <laughs> and you'll see all these souls we're picking up. They work just like in Dark Souls. We consume them to get more. Although, unlike Dark Souls, we can't exchange them for anything better later. So you might as well just use them while you can. We'll use them to level up uh, when we get to the Nexus. Probably use them before we start recording again. That way you don't have to watch us using them all. Yeah, it's not its not very exciting, folks. Watching us hold up our hand as we consume the soul. Oh, we got some turpentine. Indeed. And now... You go ahead. And that will catch us our, uh, our weapon on fire. So, once we run out of fire bombs for our little friend in there, then we'll be uh, <laughs> turpentine up our weapon. There we go. It's good and pretty. Oh. Me. He thinks he's fucking adorable, and he is. Oh, we got more fire bombs. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'll teach him. I'll throw his body. Oh, more fire dudes. Again. Oh, there we go. Sometimes the sword attack is very uh, picky. <laughs> that where it wants to hit. Around this guy, am I? No, you might have to whack him down. Yeah, I can't get around him. He's too fat. I was gonna say, I don't think he can hit you there. <laughs> there, I got it. As you can see, they're very robust when you hit them in the front. They mm -hmm. kind of have a shield for a face. Good old shield face. Got a quick item out here. What we got? Hero Unknown soul. hero soul. The souls have various levels that can be a renowned hero. Uh, Unknown. I think there's also a legendary one. I believe you're right. Oh, we got a sharp stone. We can use those to upgrade our weapons in the Nexus. Yeah, there's shards, large shards, chunks, and pure. Pures only come around like one or two times a playthrough. So lethal does know a trick that we're going to be using to uh, improve our weapons. Yeah, we'll, <laughs> we won't be uh, farming stones like suckers, folks. You can spend hours and hours killing those things that we were just doing just to get a whole bunch of sharp shards or hard shards. We're not going to do that. There's a little glitch that you can use. We're awesome, so we're going to use cheat hacks. <laughs> we just don't have the time for that bullshit, and I'm sure you guys would like more episodes that don't involve us grinding. Not like we'd ever do that shit, but... We missed some firebombs somewhere. Man, we'll be fine. Okay. 
So, everything is ready to go. Go kick some ass. To the bus. There he is. There he is. Phalanx. Notice he's covered with shield faces. Oh my god, stop it. So we're just gonna throw fire bombs at him. And as you can see, make short work of him, folks. Now you could methodically go through here and kill every one of these little shield faces if you please. So, but we won't. Now we're out. Now we're going to. Whoa, buddy. We're having troubles here. Yeah, I was going to say, you're going to have to grass. Oh, I had my dagger out for some reason. Whoops. That's the stuff. Please lay me in grass. That's good. Enough of it. Let's get behind a pillar so we're not getting poked in the back and stuff. I'll leave the turpentine on. Yeah, whenever you use an iron folks, it takes off your turpentine. Kind of sucks. But you'll get through it. There we go. Now we're actually dealing damage to the boss. We found a chink, of, chink in his arm. Ran out of stamina. Ooh, that was much more trouble. Yeah, the first time we were pretty much done with this, but we had something like nine fire bombs. Yeah. I think we got a lucky drop. He's running like a Don't bitch, run though. Me. I won't hurt you. Much. I'm trying to make it quick and painless, but you're running away. Okay, probably should get some grass <laughs> just to be on the safe side. Indeed. Yeah, we didn't even use any grass the first time, but of course there was. Nine or eleven fire bombs. Yeah, I think we had one. nine. Because I used three. So let's roll around. And yeah. one more. There we go. So every all of them die once you kill him. They die of grief, folks. <laughs> and you can see we got a lot of things. And we're human again. Indeed, you revive after killing bosses, or helping someone kill a boss. So now if we want to, we could actually uh, take off that cling ring. It doesn't do us any good, but we don't have anything to replace it, so Indeed. not a big thing for us. So we touch this and we get the Lord Soul. The Lead Demon Soul. Lead Demon Soul. <laughs> and that's going to be our episode for today. Hope you enjoyed, folks, and I